All right, well here is a review video to help you review finding the equation of a line, which is what your assignment today is going to be and your worksheet practice problems are going to be. So this will be quick. Take these notes, turn them in with your assignment, but it's going to be quick and then you'll be able to work on it. We worked on this a little bit in class last week, so I think you're going to be okay. All right, so this is writing the equation of a line, write in the equation of a line. Okay, again, just a couple of examples. We're going to do it in all three forms. Okay, so you wrote down in class last week the three forms, point slope, slope intercept, and standard form. Okay, we're going to write each equation in all the forms. Okay, so here comes our first one. I'm going to do all of these with fractions uh, just so you see how to fix the fraction parts of it. All right, so first one is going to be the slope is two-thirds and it's going to pass through the point five comma negative seven. Okay, here we go. So when you do this, the first form that you always put it in, whether it asks for it or not, doesn't matter. The first form that you put it in is point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. All right, so we're going to have y minus our first y, that's negative 7, equals our slope, 2 thirds, times x minus 5. Okay? Now minus minus turns to plus, and that would be point slope form done. Okay, point slope is finished. Now, next we're going to go to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute the two-thirds to do that. So you're going to have y plus 7 equals two-thirds x minus ten-thirds. Okay, you're multiplying two-thirds times five. You're multiplying the tops together. Two times negative five made the negative ten over three. Now, when I, even though fractions are allowed in slope-intercept, I really don't want to do this with the fractions. So remember, what you do is you box it and multiply every part by the common denominator, which is 3 here. So every single part is going to get multiplied by 3. Every single part. So if you do that, you would have 3y plus 21 equals, the threes would cancel out, you would have 2x, the threes would cancel out, you'd have minus 10. And now from here you want to solve for y. But what I would do from here is I'd write that down again because we can do standard form from here also. The x and the y on the same side, no fractions. See, I don't have any fractions. The fractions are going to come back. You'll see right now. Now you don't have to rewrite it like I just did right there, but I would suggest if you need standard form. All right, so to solve for y, we're going to subtract 21 from each side. So we're going to have 3y equals 2x minus 31. And then divide every part by 3. If I divide every part by 3, I end up with y equals 2 thirds x minus 31 over 3. And that would be your slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept. Okay? Now, if I want to get standard form, the x and the y are on the same side and no negatives in front of x. So what I would do is I would subtract the 21 to the other side. Okay, I would have 3y equals 2x minus 31. I want to bring this x over here, so I do that, remember, by subtracting 2x. And you got negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 31. Now go ahead and divide through everything by negative 1, and you'll have it. It's going to be 2x minus 3y equals positive 31, and that would be standard form. Okay. 
Now remember, you can always go back and rewatch these. You don't have to watch it once. I know for some of you, you look at it and it's like, you know, I didn't get it that way. Go back and rewatch it, do it again. Something you have to come to the understanding that math is tough for you. And you have to work harder if you want to get better. If you don't work harder, you probably won't get better. So you have to go back, you have to rewatch, you have to redo. You do the same problem again. Maybe you pause it right at the beginning and see if you can do it by yourself. And then watch me step by step and check your work. That's how you get better at this stuff. You got to do the little things to get better. All right, let's do one more here. And then I'll let you go ahead and start working on your homework assignment. Okay, so question two. This time I'm going to give you two points. Negative four comma negative one. And negative three comma negative five. Okay, put all negatives in there just to give us that challenge. All right, first thing you want to do is find the slope. When you have two points, you need to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 first. Okay, so here we go. y2 is negative 5 minus y1 is negative 1. Over x2, which is negative 3, subtract negative 4. Okay, this one's not going to come out with a fraction, but that's okay. All right, so minus minuses are going to turn into pluses. And we're going to end up with negative 5 over, no, sorry, negative 4 over negative 5 plus 1 over 1. So that slope is negative 4. All right, so now put it into point slope form first y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus negative 1 is going to equal negative 4 times x minus negative 4. Minus minuses are going to turn into pluses. So we're going to have y plus 1 equals negative 4 times x plus 4. Okay, that is your point slope form. Now, if you want slope intercept, you need to solve for y. So you need to distribute your negative 4. You'll have y plus 1 equals negative 4x minus 16. Subtract 1 from each side. You got y equals negative 4x minus 17. And that would be slope-intercept form. Now to get standard form, you want to get the x and the y on the same side. So add over 4x to the other side. And we have 4x plus y equals negative 17. And that's good because we have no fractions, no negatives in front of x. That is your standard form. Okay. Again, if you're struggling with this, you go back and you rewatch, you repractice, you pause before I do the work, you work it out, see if you can do it. Okay? You can also go on to YouTube and, you know, Google these topics, whatever. Believe me, more videos than you can watch in a day and will come up on how to do this stuff. And you can get more and more practice if you're really honestly trying to get better. It's there. You just got to go get it. You got to go get it. All right, everybody have a great day. Make sure you do the worksheet. Uh, submit these notes and the worksheet in Canvas by uh, tonight. All right, see you guys in class this week. Have a good day.